Hi, my name is Ben, and welcome again to the Canyon Country Discovery Center. We're here again to show off another one of our favorite activities. Now, as many of you know, we love astronomy here at the Discovery Center. We adore the dark skies that are in the Colorado Plateau, and we love viewing them with our observatory and telescopes. Now, what many people may not realize or think is that these dark skies aren't always available. Sometimes it's cloudy. Sometimes we have other difficulties or sometimes you want to show things to people who are not going to stay up until 10 or 11 o'clock at night. For that, we have a pretty special tool called our planetarium. What is our planetarium and what does it allow us to do? Well, I'll give you a hint. We're in our planetarium right now. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what we can find. All right, welcome to our magic dark sky in a dome. So simply put, our planetarium allows us to view the night sky and do a bunch of exploration without the need of actually being outside or have the night, the night sky visible. So what we're gonna do here is show you a little bit of what our program can do. So our planetarium, we do use the program called Stellarium. You can look this up for yourself if you so desire. And it has a lot of few functions that we really like to play with that are really educational and help us view the night sky. So one of the first things that people like to do when they're first getting into the night sky is to look for constellations. A lot of people have heard of the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, or even some of the other ones, Cassiopeia, Orion, but finding them isn't always the easiest thing to do. This program allows us to see these in a new light, in a new way. In fact, it even draws the line for us. So uh, I've already created over here, we have Polaris, our North Star selected, and we can see the constellation, the Little Dipper, or Ursa Minor, right there. If I click off, we already have a sky full of different constellations, all of which we can find, we can name. If we want the names, we can uh, pop up the names. And we even have an art that goes along with these. If we want to see a little bit of maybe what the ancients were picturing when they made these constellations years ago. But this isn't the only thing that we can do with this. We can also mess around a little bit with finding objects. Let's say that you want to find where something is going to be at a certain time. You want to find where a dark sky object is going to be. Well, you can find that dark sky object and fast forward to when you want to see it. If you want to see it at 10 o'clock at night, you can fast forward time and see where that object's going to be in relation to everything else at 10 o'clock at night. But it's not only that, this program also allows us to play a little bit with physics, which is really fun to explore. For example, have you ever wondered what the daytime sky would look like if we didn't have an atmosphere? Well, trick question, you're actually looking at it right now. Let me turn the atmosphere back on. The whole video up until this point, we've had the atmosphere turned off as if there wasn't an atmosphere there. The reason we can see all of those stars so brightly with our atmosphere turned off like this is that the atmosphere diffuses light from the sun, which blocks out the light from all of the stars beyond. In fact, if we want to turn on the atmosphere, we can go ahead and see a little bit of what these look like as we fast forward through time. Let's go ahead and let the sun set a little bit further. Let darkness fall. And there we can see the Milky Way and everything we saw before pop up in vivid detail. This is a pretty fun program to play with and it's a great way to begin exploring the night sky that is really user-friendly. 
We hope that you guys can come and explore the, have this experience for yourself so that we can help you see what you would like to see and have, help you find your favorite constellations and objects. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you guys next time.